Welcome back everyone to another stream. This will be part nine in our playthrough, I believe. I'm starting to lose track of the numbers because this is kind of a long game. But welcome to the next episode in our playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 1. We are basically getting towards, very close towards the end of the game. We, um, in the previous episode, we got so much done at Hollow Bastion. And we've now returned there, there's going to be plenty more to do. And I'm not going to really say more than that because part of me doesn't remember and part of me does and I don't want to spoil it so I hope you all enjoy whether it be on Twitch or YouTube let's get into it shall we so here we are let's go all right so at the castle chapel where all the princesses were A toast to the host who can boast the most roast! <laughs> no. That's some convenient timing. Uh, oh my god. It played the host alert, but welcome one and all. Oh my gosh. Why did you do that? Why? Yeah, you heard a toast to the host. Well, thank you for the... How much? How many people was that? Party of nine? Brains raid? Hey, it's PvP, tech. Uh, Echo, lovely to see you all. I really didn't expect this. This is annoying. I'm supposed to lurk you, not you come here. Anyway, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Uh, we literally just started the game, so this is actually very, very fitting. Um, once I go through that door, there's probably no coming back. I'm pretty good PvP. Thank you. Thank you for following and for coming in and asking. Um, it's been so great going back to this game because I hadn't really played through the game in seven years. Even though I've played the other games in the series, I just haven't played the first one in so long. I forgot so much. But once I go through this door, there's probably no coming back unless I, like, die too many times. Yeah, it's been a long time, but this game deserved the, uh, the revisit. Hey, it's Mello. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Hope to see you around more often. And it's always fun watching you and Brains do stuff, because you guys are a laugh. So, yeah. Um... Must be a good game, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'd like to think it is, but it's not everybody's cup of tea, to be fair. I mean, it is Final Fantasy and Disney mixed together, so it is a little bit of an eclectic mix, but nonetheless, I do like the game, so. I did get a new Keyblade at the end of the last stream, um, which was the Oblivion. So, hang on, we'll go into equipment, I'll show you guys. So, we had the... I got these two last stream, but I think I'm going to stick with this one. It's, it's very strong. Aw, thank you so much, Brains. Yeah, look, look, look forward to uh, look forward to more adventures with you. Thank you so much. Well, for those of you who are going to stick around, um, I'm K9. I do retro games, I do art, I do whatever else I feel like. So you're more than welcome to s stay and enjoy. And if you have to leave, then again, thank you so much for stopping by. So where were we? Um, this is, by the way, my actual PS2 that we're running this on, just as a little update. So you'll see console cam here and my little Pac-Man ghosts and whatever feels like hanging out here. Sometimes we have dog cam, but not not today. So I'm gonna stick with the Oblivion. Like we gotta go with the we gotta go with the strongest Keyblade in the game. It's that once I go through here, I assume I'm gonna have to enter this portal, and we are going to be basically stuck. I'm assuming there's gonna be no saves, no nothing in there. If if I know how difficult these games get, yeah, Pac-Man is cute. I love me some Pac-Man. I love I love that old retro stuff. So. Just thought it'd be nice to kind of include them just for no reason. They're just a bit cute to have around. And uh, that's my actual manual for the game. Uh, there's like a goofy pin here. You can't really see it too well. But forever trapped. I will be forever trapped. I want to skip these enemies because uh, last stream I went around this area just to make sure that I could get all the hidden treasure chests. So now I can just kind of speed right through these jerks. Oh wait, I missed one. Never mind. Looks like I am going to have to beat these guys because you can't open treasure chests unless you're not fighting. So I have to now fight these jerks. I thought I cleared the room yesterday. I, w I was so happy to like empty this room so that I could just go straight to the action. But oh well. We want the shiny treasure chest. It might be something cool. Oh, no worries, brains. Again, thank you so much, really. Now all of you here can be for what I'm assuming is going to be the grand finale. Because I'm hoping to beat the game tonight. It's been, it's been quite, the, quite the journey. And honestly, if I was playing the uh, final mix version of the game, it would have been even longer. But I'm glad I stuck with the PS2 version, because it just means I won't get too sidetracked with all the bonus content. Ah! 
hanging out with awesome people. Oh, thank you, really. You're too kind. Yeah, you are all appreciated. Oh, there's too many enemies. Look, I don't want to waste my... I, I don't want to waste any items and mana on you. You guys just aren't worth my time. If that treasure chest over here, the shiny treasure chest I want. Before I go into that spooky heart-shaped portal. If anybody in chat has played it before, don't hesitate to let me know. And if you haven't, well, enjoy the hilarity of madness, I suppose. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna charge me. I'm gonna see if I can tech the hit. Oh nope, Goofy hit him. Hey, I wanted to tech the, get those hit points. Yeah, there you go. I get 72 XP from doing that, and another 240 from defeating him. Yeah, great. I like these I like these enemies just for that. I, I literally can just deflect their attacks. It's fun. I hate these wizards though. They make your magic like basically useless, which is mean. Yeah, so I got all the other ones that were up there. It's just that one treasure just I missed. What a what a joke game. The game just loves teasing. Never played it before? Oh, that's that's interesting here, PvP. Well, if you're ever interested to play it, it's been released on many different platforms now. Uh, PS2, PS3, PS4. There's a Switch version as well, but I do not recommend it because it runs on cloud saving and therefore it is very buggy and framey and needs in constant internet connection. I don't recommend the Switch version. Any other version, though, go for it. Come on, is that all the enemies? No, it's not. Of course it's not. Oh, game. That's probably just my capture card. Okay, the music is still intense and my HUD is still red, so I'm assuming there's someone hiding around here. Where is he? There's probably a wizard. Yeah, there you go. It's a silly wizard. Nope, it's more enemies. Oh, come on. I just wanna... I just wanna do all the cool stuff for chat. No, it's single player PvP. It's a it's a typical adventure game with a uh, you know it, it it's kind of it's like a it's an RPG but it's also got like platformer elements in it. So it's like a typical like adventure game that you would play on a on a on a PlayStation, especially back in the day. I do enjoy the sequels as well, but there are probably too many. Even I'm allowed to say that. Okay, now we can finally get this treasure chest. I hope it was worth my my time. That's a blue one, so probably something rarer. Puppy Dalmatian 61, 62, and 63. Right, so I've been trying to find the uh, 99 puppies from the 101 Dalmatians, and I think I was missing 13 chests. Now with that one, that means I'm only missing 12 chests in the entire game, so I almost got 100% without trying. So I'm pretty proud of that, but oh well, we're not going to get 100% in this playthrough. Definitely not. There is so much content I've missed because I just want to play the story and remember the story of the first game but yeah we just got some more so ah uh, do i go back they've probably wasted so much of their mana but uh whatever let's let's enter the dark depths chat i may regret this <laughs> i think from here on out it's gonna be yep boss fight <laughs> i have no idea what to do with this boss but let's figure it out I don't remember this. I do not remember this fight. I have a I have a really mixed memory with this game because there are some parts of the game that I remember very vivid, like very strongly, and then some that I just don't. Like I do not remember this fight at all. I don't know what to do. Oh, thank you for the defense. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with him. Thunder does nothing, which is usually my go-to spell. I'm glad I grabbed this keyblade. Boy. It is stronger. We need some strong. Surprises always pop out of nowhere. Yeah, that's true. This game is full of surprises. Um, we're gonna use a summon because I do have those, and my favorite is probably Genie or Tinkerbell. Genie's great. He just he just fires projectiles, so I can just spam him for a bit and chip out some health. I also get to hear Dan Castle Nether, which is always a bonus. <laughs> gotcha. 
Our dude will do some, some damage? Doesn't look like it's doing a lot. Oh, uh, actually it is. It's just not... Fire, 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 Gene. Toodaloo! Okay, well, we used him as much as we can. You can only use him once per fight. That's okay. I just wanted something to kind of speed this along. So that I don't have to waste too much of uh, of my resources. Because this is not this is not the final boss. This is just a boss. We've got more to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ow. That hurt me. Thank you, Donald. I I know I know like players of the game, people that play the game a lot more than me will always make jokes about Donald not having a very reliable AI. If you actually configure his AI, he does work. And that's what I did. I did modify his AI because you can choose in the game settings how you want them to actually act in a fight. And actually did modify it for him to be useful. So I've not had an issue with him too much. Ooh, yeah, you enjoy that chicken soup PvP. Enjoy. Alright, we've not we've got one health bar off, so. That's another thing about these games. Uh most of the bosses after probably the first level have multiple health bars. So this one has three. We just knocked down one of them. We've got two more to do. I would just cast magic, but it looked like Thunder was doing absolutely nothing. I wonder if a strike raid will actually hit from over here. I don't think it will, but he's too high up. Otherwise, I would just... I'll do it so chat can see, but I, I don't like my odds. Yeah, it didn't do, it didn't do much. I, I should have picked Ragnarok chat. I, I didn't equip Ragnarok, did I? No, I didn't. Hey, no, I need to do this. I didn't equip Ragnarok. That was, that was dumb. A really great move. I just got it, like, in the previous boss fight. Probably why I forgot I had it. Okay. Feel free to ask uh, any questions chat about anything really. I do love my retro games, but I'm also going to try my best to focus. <laughs> yep. You got low on the ground. Perfect. So I can hit you some more. Okay. I think this keyboard was a great choice though. I think I'd be suffering a lot more otherwise. Come back here, fight me. Bring your head down here. I'm just scared he's gonna like do another big attack. Yeah, there you go. He's gonna do that. Yep, ow. I do not want to deal with that. Oof. Ah! No. Oh, okay. Bring that- lower that head, please. Bow to your master. We will defeat you now. I will tame this beast, whatever- whatever it is. Ow. There we go, nice. Oh cool, cool, nice. Obtained Omega Arts, okay. Now let's go and seal that big keyhole. Sora, you did it. I did it? <laughs> There's more to it, yeah. Of course. What are you guys doing here? We came in Sid's ship. This is our childhood home. We wanted to see it again. 
It's in worse shape than I feared. It used to be so peaceful. Don't worry. If we defeat Ansem, all should be restored, including your island. Really? Uh-huh. But it also means goodbye. Once the worlds are restored, they'll all be separate again. Everyone will go back to where they came from. Then I'll visit you guys with the gummy ship. It's not that simple. Before all this, you didn't know about the other worlds, right? Because every world was isolated. Impassable walls divided them. The Heartless destroyed those walls. If those worlds return, so will the walls. Which means gummy ships will be useless. So you're saying we'll never... Mm-hmm. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, our hearts will bring us together again. Besides, I couldn't forget you, even if I wanted to. Aww. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Shower! Hurry, come and close the keyhole! <laughs> Sora, good luck. Thank you, Squall. Aw, I won't get, to, won't get to see them again, the Final Fantasy peeps. Supposedly, anyway. That's all I'm gonna say. Alright. Time to seal it! Keyhole sealed, but another fake out. This is not the end of the game. <laughs> We're getting closer. Yep. Thank you, Sora. I think the darkness has begun to weaken. But I can feel a powerful darkness growing somewhere far away. It's the heart of the darkness. It must be where Ansem went. Then we'll take the gummy ship and deal with both Ansem and the Heartless. A worthy answer, Keyblade Master. We offer this power to aid your battle. Ooh. Oh, I got Flyraga. Nice. It's maxed out now. Your courage can bring back our worlds. Once the darkness is gone, all should return to its original state. Kairu will be back on the island? Most certainly. And you should be too. I can't go home until I find Riku in the game. At least they put me back at the save point. I don't have to walk. <laughs> okay. Now that we're here though, I should definitely um, check my abilities again because I have a really cool ability we should use. There it is, Ragnarok. Keep one HP even- okay, I'm gonna need second chance as well, so I'm gonna need- I'm gonna need to remove um, the 3 AP from something. I guess we'll remove Strike Raid. We'll get second chance and Ragnarok and that should be- yeah, Ragnarok's great because it's like, yeah. You, you guys will see it for yourselves. It actually, um, it's a physical attack, but it fires a projectile. So it's really good for just in case if this boss doesn't do well against magic. So we'll have something a bit stronger. Uh, what about Dole in here? Can we give him anything extra? MP Rage, I suppose. Give him that. Treasure Magnet and stuff is not going to matter, considering I'm assuming we're not going to be coming back. Um, is that it? Just treasure magnet. Well then, whatever. I can stay there then. Big Goofy. Goofy's got... Jackpot. Receive more money and HP in battle. Equipped to entire party. Now we'll just give him MP rage as well, actually. That's good. Because the more MP he gets, the more he'll give to me, and therefore uh, we'll be in primo condition, I think. Alright, yeah, so I think when you check the journal, this is where you can see, um, like, kind of your stats and stuff. So when it comes to Trinity, I found all the red ones. I missed one yellow one. Yeah, so I missed a few of them, but hey, I think I was doing a pretty decent job throughout the game finding them. And the... 
101 Dalmatians. Yeah, we got 12, 12 chests missing. So 63 out of 99. It's not, not a bad run. I wasn't gonna go 100%, but I got very close. I just know that backtracking through this game is gonna add another 20, 30 hours to, um, to the stream that we're just not going to do today. <laughs> I am a chronic saver, chat, so let's do this. Alright, let us adventure beyond. Yep, all the Heartless are gone, so I'm not going to waste any, uh, any energy now. That's good. logic I could have just gotten the chests now but how am I how was I supposed to know that I really wasn't supposed to know that into the dark depths yeah let's go I'm assuming we've got to continue this way keep going wait is that all there is here surely there's more to it huh I thought this was the way you had to go there's no boss no nothing here now though they weren't too clear about that, so how am I supposed to... Or well, maybe I do have to head back to the gummy ship? I don't know. They weren't too clear on that bit. I guess we'll go back to the ship. Yeah, I cleared this room too. There's there's no, no chests anymore. Whoops. Oh, because there were invisible walls here before. I guess they're all gone now? Must be part of the whole darkness thing, Imogen. And I got everything in this room? Yeah, okay, so I guess... Jump on the... Jump on the gummy ship. It always makes me hungry when I think of the gummy ship. Is it sort of a being held at the Colosseum? Don't do this to me! Oh, ga oh game. Oh, chat, the game's tempting me. I have done every Colosseum battle throughout the game, and this is the last one they give you, which I didn't think they were going to do until New Game Plus, but now they're offering it to me. It's like, do I do it? Do I not do it? Ah. Uh... It would give me a lot of XP, but like, I don't know. I really wanted to beat the game today. But it's also really fun. Let me know, chat. I mean, I did set myself to do this, so maybe I'm just gonna have to make another save state when I land here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I can backtrack if I change my mind. Seems like the wise decision. Because you do get multiple save files, so that's actually no problem. Hey Tech, uh, KH is going really well. I think I'm finally headed to the, the last level. Which is probably just going to be a heap of boss fights, so chat can enjoy watching me uh, die a lot. <laughs> but I think I'm as ready as I, I can be with my level and everything that I have. Nice indeed. Give me good stuff. Give me good shiny stuff. There's, there's too much to shoot, but they're not giving me anything, anything that I could use. Not that I really need any gummy blocks anymore. This is going to be the end of the game, but I'd like to not blow up, please. Oh yeah, and uh, the games are also on PC. I, forgot. I, always, I keep forgetting that Kingdom Hearts actually got PC releases now. So I should mention that to chat if you don't have a PlayStation console. They're on PC. There's so many ways to play these games nowadays, so... You don't have to play the PS2 version like I'm doing, I just chose that. 
both out of nostalgia and necessity because it's the one I have. It's the version I have, but mostly nostalgia. Honestly, I could have bought it. I just, I just really wanted to play it the way Kid Me played it for the first time. It just felt more fitting. So I'm all for that nostalgia. I have never seen these things before. Are they shoot lasers? Oh, okay. Oh dear. I do not have much health. I did not bother upgrading the ship throughout our uh, adventure. But I think we'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. Collect some health. Nostalgia Valley does hit pretty high on games like this. Yeah, exactly. This is just one of those games from from PS2 era that just got released so many times that you know there's so many ways you can play it now, but. I don't know, there's just something about me playing this version, even though the newer versions have all the extra content and stuff like that, because originally there was um, extra content that only people in folks in Japan got. But when they did the uh, Final Mix HD, whatever you want to call it, it got access to everyone. But if I played that version, we probably would have three times the amount of playtime, because there would just be too much to do. <laughs> we are at the end of the world chat. The end of the world. Let's go. I mean, maybe at a later date I'll play the, the Final Mix versions. Maybe I'll buy them for PC or something. Or I'll hook up my PS4 or something, but I don't know. Oh, we have a save. Okay, so I'm gonna make... Um, I'm gonna make a separate save file. I hope I don't stuff this up. I'm gonna leave myself a blank, spa blank space so I don't screw this up. There's like no music, it's very ominous, and it's taking a while to save, yeah. So I want to keep both save files, just in case if we go back and do the tournament. So I'll have something to go back with. How many points do we need to donate for what? For what? Donate for what? Oh, to play that, to play that version. I didn't actually set up a reward for that. I guess I'll just do it out of, uh, interest, really. I know one of my regulars wants me to play the second one, but that's probably not going to happen anytime soon because the second one's even longer. It's the end of the world, chat. I'm very scared. I'm quaking in my boots. If I were wearing any, but you know what I mean. I'm, I'm nervous. That's left of the world's taken by the heartless. Yikes. will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? You betcha. But if we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's going to happen to this place? And to us. Well, uh... This is a heartless world, so maybe it'll just disappear. Huh? But no worries. Even if this place goes poof, our hearts ain't going nowhere. I'm sure we'll find our pals again. Yep, I just know that we will. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, you're right. I'll return this. I promise. So cute. Alright. I really don't remember this level in the game at all. I really don't remember the end game stuff, but... Sorry. <laughs> don't mind me if I just mindlessly look around. <laughs> oh, okay. I literally can just walk around. <laughs> I was sitting here thinking I have to platform to avoid falling to my doom. Wow, they really trolled me there. Yikes. Did that just happen? Oh. Oh, it's this music again. I haven't heard I haven't heard I haven't heard this uh, music track since the start of the game. It's so poetic. I love when games do this kind of stuff. You really are just telling a story. Ow. Thank you. Thank you, Dolan. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Uh, what was this? What was this song called? I, I actually forget now. You can't open the treasure chests. It's tempting, but you can't, because when you're stuck in battle, you can't uh, interact with other other objects. But they really, they, there's a. It's not like a Final Fantasy game where you could just run from a battle type thing. You actually have to complete the battle, whether you want to or not. 
I guess for what it's worth, it means that I won't miss out on too much XP. The only battles I could skip are the non-story related ones. Where'd he go? Oh, he's gonna... Oh, I managed to dodge that. That crack and smack. Hiya right, chat, those, are, those of you that are new here, there is uh, soundboards, stickers, commands, the whole shebang. Enjoy. Um, yeah, can I open this? Oh, cutscene? Oh, I see. That's trippy. Alright. A power-up. Oh, we're gonna immediately equip that. So, power-ups are kind of like a... Kind of like those uh, protein things you get in Pokemon that let you level up your stats once. So they are definitely a coveted item. Oh, they're, they'll be in stock, yeah. So do we have the power-ups here. I've been giving them all to Sora because of course I am. Gotta make him stronger. Gotta make my spiky boy stronger. Anything to, to help. Oh! Wow, did they just... Did they just mimic me? They just mimicked me. It's a, it's a mimic chest. That, that's that's cheeky. Wow, I did not know Square Enix would do that. Oh, you know what? They gave me fire. I'll get fire. A fire would be super effective on these guys. Oh, I, I like one hits those uh, floating chompy balls. how hard the next boss is gonna be they're just they're giving me fights they're giving me items they're really they're really scaring me now wait where's he going oh he's 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 checking there i don't know how he's doing that that's a block no do not do that to me okay yeah he's he's blocking he's blocking that Okay, never mind. Get wrecked. Alright, now how do I get out? Let me out! <laughs> Defense up. There we go. Yes, yeah, so we're just getting... We're collecting these, are we? There we go. Power up defense. So what's my... What's my stats actually like? Um... HP's 57 now, 8 MP, used all my AP points, but that's fine, strength, defense, not bad, not bad, not bad. I remember the last time, the last time I sat down to play this game, I played it on proud mode and I remember regretting it because it was so frustrating, <laughs> frustratingly hard. Wait, where am I going? This is backwards. Yeah, anyway, it was frustratingly difficult, so this time around I just wanted to just do the normal difficulty. So, take what you will from that information, but I, I really just want to kind of remember how to play it again and enjoy myself. I can't figure out how I'm supposed to navigate. They're like invisible walls. I guess they want me to follow these stones here, like as if I was flying or whatever. Because I can kind of glide, so I guess they're wanting me to do that. Mega elixir, okay. Alright. Pride cometh before the fall, yeah. This really is like the calm, but well, not really calm, but you know what I mean, calm before the storm. There we go. I'm assuming I could probably skip these, but then you don't know if you're going to get a really special item that could help you for that boss, and that's what they're counting on. Oh, it's another one of these. It's another boss with this guy. He has three health bars. They really making me fight this guy again? Another one of... What is he, like a cow? I don't know, a boar? A bison? The heartless are kind of... The, the heartless creatures are kind of usually based off of things. 
they had plans for like more enemy types, but I think they ended up uh, safely just using them in the next game. I managed to get on top of his head, this is handy. Boil! <laughs> Come on. Alright, maybe I can show chat how Ragnarok works. Oh, I, I, I accidentally took a hit on the last attack, but basically you get to bash, 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 and then shoot a projectile. It's great. The only way I can get a good hit on him is when he brings his head down. I cannot, I cannot jump that high. That's more of a Kingdom Hearts 3 thing. When he's more, uh, when he's older, when he's more mobile, I guess. Right now he's just... Small boy. He's strong, but he's small. Hey, come back here. Come back here. those things. They're kind of tricky to, to dodge. Bring your head down here. Come on, I almost got you. It doesn't hit him. I guess I could try my other magic spells. What else we got? Stop didn't work on him. Ay ay ay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got him. Oh, we got our HP up. See a treasure chest over there. Wow, there is more. There is. See, it, there's. They really. Yeah, what do those Omega Arts do? Actually, I think I got one in the last boss fight. What do those do? Um. Is it in? Is it in this menu? No. Okay, so it's not a synthesis item. It must be a uh, equipment. Let's have a look, chat. Inferno band, white fang, yeah, these ones I already had. Raises max HP, strength, and defense. Oh, well, I mean, we gotta have that, right? I guess I'll swap out this one. See, I like keeping Ray of Light just because it improves my, my, my HP and MP, and it helps with the summoning, but it's only slightly, so maybe I'll just replace both and get two Omega Arts. Omega, Omega, Raven? Yep. I guess the raised defense is now giving a bit more HP anyway, that's good. Spooky. Another attack. Oh, these are new. I've never fought one of these before, I don't know what they do. Ow. I guess they... They shoot fire? Oh, they, no, actually, they shoot tornadoes. Okay. They're really selling the point, I get it. <laughs> I want to get the chest. Give me the chest. Thank you. Angel Bangle. Okay. Whoops. There. 
it is. HP and defense. I mean, yeah, okay. HP, strength, defense. I think they had great choices. Oh, there we go. I saw that HP bar go up. Nice little boost. We love our improvements. Sora's getting stronger. Yep, Mega Elixirs. I haven't given Donald or Goofy anything, and I'm starting to think I may regret it, but at the same time, they kind of have a habit of wasting your inventory if you give them items, so maybe it's for the best. Wow. I kind of don't like these guys. Yeah, they do deserve an absolute bonking. Now one of them is gonna try and hit me with that. Ah, rude. Yeah, I'm gonna try and. Ow! Goofy got to level up. Okay. Defense up. I'm so scared. They've given me so much. I'm really scared for my life now. This is mighty spooky. Three stars, what's that one do? I know it seems like I'm going back and forth a lot, but I have never heard of these these items. There must be some like kind of lower lower drop type stuff that you can only get late game. Reduces fire, ice, and lightning by 20 and significantly raises defense. I guess I could give it to Donald and Goofy. I could improve what they already have. I like what I have here. I really like the loadout I have. So we'll give you... Yeah, we'll give you three stars. The Donald. Fager, Faragatha, Andara. We'll give you... I guess we'll give you Protega Chain. Faraga, Thund Thundara. Is there anything stronger? Yeah, Thundaga Ring would be stronger. There you go. So, Protega, Faraga, Thundaga, and another Protega. Sounds good. Sounds good. We're going to make him extra beefy. Now, after all this effort, am I going to have another save point or am I going to have to trek back? That, that part I am not aware of. I had a feeling. They're not going to give me too much at once. Give him what poor Sora. Gale. I have no idea what item that is, but...
Hmm. Another power up. It's almost. Yeah, I gotta admit, this is this is kind of poetic. We're just growing and getting stronger with with Sora as we progress through, you know, the scary unknown. It just seems kind of like kind of deep. This game can get really deep at times, honestly. to do that, but you're never going to say no to healing. Dark ring, yeah, I've had I've had dark rings before. Let's let's press on. I mean, I suppose I'm supposed to go towards the light, but I I kind of am debating just running all the way back because I have no idea if there's a safe point up there. I honestly do not remember this. They they really they really troll you with these invisible walls. It's kind of annoying. I guess it's just gonna follow the rocks. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a link, you know, like in Ocarina of Time. We're just gonna roll our way through the field until we get to where we need. <laughs> you don't really run that far away. It's just the invisible walls making it feel worse. Yeah, it is. Only, only real nitpick I have about this level is just the random invisible walls. I, I guess they wanted me to like follow the follow the rocks, and they didn't want to make it so that you know Sora falls or whatever. But it's just I don't know. Could have done the pathing a little differently. But yeah, I think yeah, it's just a save point over here. Gate to the dark, that's what it's called, huh? Alright. Cool. Alright, now back we go. At least this time I'll just know to hit just just go straight. Just like this just like the uh the the Yuzo Kushiro song. Just go forward. Go straight. Move on. Keep moving forward. treasure chest kind of guided you to where to go but still it's like that's my only little nitpick all right chat i guess we're gonna go into the light This really is just sort of like some leap of faith level stuff from um, Indiana Jones. No, don't go into the light. 
I can't help it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Canine dies. <laughs> Rip. All right. Spooky music. What are we in for? Another behemoth. I just remembered what they're called. They're called behemoths, but... I don't know. It's like a... Crazy bison looking thing. It's, it's not just a simple, oh, fight a, fight a boss in a cave type thing. They really wanted to make sure that your end of the game really felt like the end. Lower your head, and I will do Ragnarok, and that will be satisfying to look at. Come on, lower your head. If I can do this cool attack. It's just annoying. Oh, I really hate that. Oh, what a waste. Wait, did we knock him down? We knocked him down. There we go. Brilliant. Okay. Now what? 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 Come, come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Come on. You can. We can do this. Another spooky area. I wonder where that Ansem fellow went. Dive into the most dangerous place and we'll find him. Oof. Okay. I don't like this chat. Yeah, it looks like there's vines. It looks like you can climb down, but I'm literally just gonna try and stay where it looks safe. <laughs> Where's the next place we can go? I don't really know where I'm going. I just assume go forward. It's so, it's so ominous, I really don't remember this at all. Alright, there is a light over there, another shiny kind of thing. So maybe I'll go up there and it'll take me up, it's like a geyser, I guess. Get up there. I don't know if this is actually here meant to, but that's what we're gonna do. Donald, me first, please. Nope. Alright, well, how do I get back up then, game? Hmm. got an idea. I actually don't. This looks very dark. Hmm. 
I'm assuming there's like a ramp here. Can I climb up this way? No, not really. Oh, I can climb on this vine. Yep. Never played him. Might reach by jumping. I was trying that. I was trying that. Okay. Never played it. Big nodders. All good. It's climbing me all the way up here. This is fairly high. This is like Metal Gear Solid 3 level of high up in the sky. Oh. Go up here. Up we go. But I had this similar feeling when I played Legend of Spyro Eternal Night. It had kind of a spooky level like this. And then there was like a lake of ice. And I remember seeing a cameo of Crash Bandicoot frozen in it. Because I spent too much time walking around the ice lake. Just to learn the terrain. And I just discovered him just there as an easter egg. It was kind of neat. Just a, just a random memory. Alright, now we're here. I'm assuming that, that geyser thing we saw has something to do with it. Where is it? Oh. I don't really- I don't really understand the, uh, the platforming here too well. I don't remember how I did this. Okay, we were here before. There's enemies. That's gotta mean we're moving along. Yeah, Donald, you show him who's duck. Alright, quick blocking. My job. just fell into a cage. Where do I go? Am I in a dead end? Oh wait, I can jump down here. Okay. Alright, yeah, I see that guys are looking area over there. There's a, what looks like a save point. Alright. We made it to Giant Crevasse. Okay, uh, it seems only logical to jump into the glowy glowness. <laughs> it went into the light. See, in this game series, you definitely want to go into the light at all costs. Well, okay, I'm assuming that glowing light takes you back. Maybe these are like, yeah, these teleport you. Sounds like jumping out of the frying pan into the fire, yeah. Speaking of fire, um, yeah, into the fire we go, apparently. Oh, <gasps> wait, we're in Traverse Town? Oh, they're, they're playing with Sora's mind now, aren't they? How are we in Traverse Town? I really don't remember this part of the game at all. <laughs> so good to be playing it again. Yeah, big shock. Thunder. Oh, there's three of them? Okay. It's really good to use Blizzard against these enemies, but um, I don't have it equipped. Yeah, it takes too long to use. I'm just gonna aggro him and get some extra XP. They 
I'm really putting you to the test. Oh my gosh. I thought I blocked that, but anyway. More enemies? Oh, there's more of them. I would I would have done I would have gotten that if it weren't for you meddling soldier heartless. Ah. Thunder. Taken care of it. Brave warrior. Oh yes, I already have one of these chains. You get it at the start of the game. You're gonna teleport me, or what, what's gonna happen now? Yeah, these are all sealed off. Cause I don't think we're in the real traverse town. I think I think they're, they're playing with my mind right now. In that case, if they've blocked all the doors, where do I go? Do I go through this door? It doesn't seem right. Ha! I don't know if I was meant to do that. Yeah, no, I wasn't meant to do that. Have we been through this one yet? No. How am I supposed to know where I'm going? I actually don't know where I'm going. No, this just took me back here. Okay. Alright. Actually, I just changed my mind chat. Actually, what we'll do... When you go to a save point, it heals you. So, I'm just gonna use the opportunity to let the game, uh... Like heal me, heal up the team, just so I don't have to waste any potions. There you go. Now let's jump back into the light and resume our search. Okay. So there must be another door, or some other exit. Gonna go this way. Yep, we weren't here before. I don't think. Yep, now- yeah, okay, so they're, they're, they're just taking- I guess they're taking a trip through my mind or something to places we've been throughout the adventure. So now we're in Alice in Wonderland world. Hey, who, who said uh, getting to the, to the final boss was going to be easy? I just thought I'd mention, uh, wait, was that a hidden Mickey I saw there? Oh, it was one of the rabbits, because it's white rabbit, yeah. I was gonna say, the, these, the earlier Kingdom Hearts games did hide a couple hidden Mickeys from memory, but then in the, in the third game they made it an actual mechanic. If it's horn, yeah, so I'm collecting items. Yeah, these are, the, I, I already have that item, so it's not that useful. Oh. Okay, move forward. I just hope I'm not going in circles. Uh, 
Okay, now I'm here at the Coliseum. Damn it. Are they literally gonna make me visit every wall? Thunder. It's like Sora's having a crazy dream. Thunder. Come on. See ya. Well, at least those of you that haven't been here for the, uh, for the rest of the journey, you can kind of get little, little highlights of stuff we did. And of course I'm gonna have these archived because I can't help but archive all my hard efforts. I mean, we didn't fight these enemies, and in fact, in this part of when we were on this level, we actually didn't fight here. So if I actually went and did that other Colosseum battle, I would have been doing this one, the one that Hades sets up, because I've already done the other ones that Phil set up, so this one would have been like a, a special secret one from Hades, I believe, is how it works. The backtracking would have been pretty neat, but I also didn't want to spend time doing that, knowing that there was going to be plenty of this to do. But next time. Next time, chat. There's always a next time. Alright. Got the wyvern. Hundred percent the game on another run. True that tech. I've actually never hundred percent of this game. Uh, I know the last time I played it, I definitely put maybe triple the amount of hours that I have on uh, on this playthrough, but I still hadn't completed everything because um, I was doing some of the bonus bosses, and I remember them being so difficult that I ended up just raging so hard and couldn't couldn't beat them. But it was also proud mode, so I I was asking for trouble. That's that's one lesson I learned, chat. When you play a game for the first time, do not choose the hardest difficulty. You're only gonna you're only gonna soil soil your uh, your fun. It's always best to just kind of ease into it first, learn how the game works, then challenge yourself afterwards. I learned that the hard way when I was playing these games. For some reason, when I got Kingdom Hearts one, I was like, let's choose the hardest difficulty. I've learned my lesson. I do that again. Well, uh, there can be some exceptions, like so there are some games out there that are really easy and you would choose the harder difficulty. But the hardest difficulty, yeah. I'm pretty sure the only difference in playing the hardest difficulty was is that I got one extra cutscene. I think that was the only difference. Otherwise, like, collecting all the items and stuff is the same. I'm pretty sure that's just what you got. You got an extra cutscene. And Kid B was excited about that because it was the early days uh, when YouTube was still young and you couldn't look that stuff up, so... You wanted to see it for yourself, you know? Okay, I guess. Where are we off to next? Uh, I'm guessing deep jungle, maybe? Are they gonna take me there? Or... Yes, deep jungle, I thought so. So, now we're in Tarzan's world. And there's monkeys. Not as satisfying as looking it up, true. That is exactly what I thought back then. Nowadays the Kingdom Hearts has kind of expanded so much for some of the for some of the material, I would end up looking it up. Like for example, uh, Chain of Memories. I never beat Chain of Memories because I was playing the Game Boy Advance version and there also was a PS2 game that didn't come out here. It only came out in America and Japan. So... I ended up just deciding to just watch the cutscenes on YouTube because there was no real way to play it here anyway. Nowadays there is, but I, I can't be bothered. It's a card game. 
They made that game a card game, so it wasn't my kind of game. I just like the mainline games like these, the, the kind of adventure type stuff. They're more up my alley. Alright. Let's bash the monkeys. Actually, I think my I think my new emo should finally be working. I had trouble equipping it, but anyway, no, it's not working. You guys can have an oof. Right. White Fang, yeah. They give me these are all corresponding items that I collected uh, at this world, which is crazy to think about. They're really they're really trying to weave the. Uh, kind of Sora's journey and what you've gone through. So normally, I mean this is where it came from, but they've blocked any other way out. So where do I go? Alright, let's just keep moving up. What would happen if I skip them? Like can I skip them? I don't know. I don't know if I should. We're here for the adventure, so let's just go through it. Yep, now we're in Agrabah. I, I did really enjoy this level. And granted, I have been enjoying the game as a whole, but I really like the design for this level. Here, okay. Do I go through these palace gates or something? I mean, it's probably they probably want me to fight everybody, but anyway. Did oh. my crush band who came out in Steam while ago? Please go back and play, but haven't been in the mood. Yeah, I feel that way with games like Crash Bandicoot as well. They have so much, uh, gameplay. I think... I've played- I've played a fair share of Crash Bandicoot games. Um, I can't say I've finished any of them. I'd get close to finishing most of them and then usually there'd be- there'd usually there'd be a level that would get me stuck somewhere. So unfortunately, uh... I'm yet to beat one. At least one that's a mainline Crash game, but... Like Crash the Times, I've beaten that one many times, but that one's a totally different game on its own. That one has like Lego style gameplay. Like, if you guys know that whole drop in, drop in, drop in, drop out uh, type of gameplay that you expect that you're used to in like a Lego game, uh, as opposed to the normal uh, enter a enter a level, get a crystal type thing. I suppose you're you're referring to the the remake. The remake the 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 re the remake remasters are quite good actually. Do you go through this store or do you go to the desert? They actually didn't make this clear. Maybe you have to go through the desert. Ow. Rude. Yeah, they didn't make this bit clear. Maybe I'll just head out into the desert. Yeah. See what see what happens. Okay. Yeah, Insane Trilogy. I do remember playing that when it came out. It was really fun. They did some they did some stuff with the uh, the hitboxes and whatnot, but they're like, you know, not necessarily bad things, but they're just the kind of things that uh, a really big Crash Bandicoot fan uh, pointed out to me. I guess it's the kind of thing that a Crash speedrunner will teach you, though. It's, it's not something that most people really think about. But yeah, they're fun games. I do have the Insane Trilogy. I've also got the originals, or some of the originals. I have the first one, and I have the fourth one before the fourth one was a thing. You know, the... And I played two and... Th I've got two and three on my PSP, I think. I don't know. They're, they're good games. You can't not like Crash Bandicoot, really. Unless you really hate the difficulty. 
Ow, I really don't want to deal with this guy. Why am I using- why am I using thunder? Am I- am I silly? Am I a- am I a dunce? I am a dunce. Heal them for me! Donald's goofy. Um... I'm gonna use maybe gravity? Gravity will flatten them? Yeah! Oh, I don't have enough. Yep, there you go. That gave him- that gave him the hit stun we needed to, uh... Yeah, so now I'm in Atlantica, so I think the game... When, when you get about halfway through the game, there's no specific order to actually uh, complete the levels. So, I really wasn't expecting to get Atlantica. Oh, he paused too early, it just pauses the cutscene. Um, remember playing at least one of the original games? Yeah. The original one is definitely a bit rough around the edges nowadays, like, in terms of, you know, Crash not having as as fleshed out of a moveset and stuff like that. Stuff that they, they, uh, changed in the Insane Trilogy, I'm pretty sure. But, they're still fun games. Crash 2 and 3 are also just a great time. Alright, where to next, uh, my good... Orb light trippy thing. Ah, we're here in a Halloween town. We're in a Oogie Boogie's uh, boss, boss fight room. But what do you call this? You call it like a torture chamber or something? Yeah. Because all these buttons would bring out different different traps. Thunder. Yep. Thunder. Thunder. The, the skeletons do not like being uh, electrocuted. send in another wave and these things. These are kind of annoying. They teleport too much. with its music. Alright. Let me grab that treasure chest and we'll get out of here. Not that I remember how to get out of this room. I think they I think literally a cutscene triggers in this room. Holy circlet, yeah I already have one of those. Yeah they they're doing that for the sake of the story because I'm you wouldn't necessarily get them in the same spot but you would get them on this level type of thing. So it's them being like ironic, poetic, I'm not sure what the right word is, but they're doing that. They're making you they're making you take a look back at your uh, your adventures. To be fair, Jack and Dax had a pretty long ending as well. It had a, a fair amount of stages in comparison to like Ratchet and Clank games. Which are, are kind of different with each game in the series. So now I'm here in Neverland. Oh, I, I, I think it's funny that- whoa! This is the secret room. I know because I, I opened the secret room like the other day. But I am gonna have no idea where I'm supposed to go here. I'm assuming- oh, they've just opened- they've got 
the way out opened for you, I guess. I couldn't collect this one last time too. It was like, you can't carry it. Raven's Claw? Yeah, there was like a grate up here. I guess this is where I'm supposed to go. Yep. No? Camera? Where do I go then? There's a door over here. Oh. I don't like that the door just suddenly shuts like that without an animation. It's a little creepy. Well, yeah, it just slams shut. Right, now we're back in... Were we in this room before? Yeah, we were in this room before. Okay. Oh, no worries, Tech. Okay. Um... Maybe this isn't the way to go. I must have missed a door somewhere. Open the door. Yeah, this room was just a dead end, I remember. Can't open this. You can't go up there, I don't think. Yeah, that's closed off. We can't open this one. Down here? Is there a door down here? or? Yeah, no, this, this this area was a dead end too. So I guess the path, I guess the path has to be this way then. I'm just missing something. Watch and sleep. Ah, the perfect combination. I always do the same thing. I'll watch stream and then finally get comfy and keep watching and fall asleep. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go from here? Yeah, this one's not... I just realized the sound effects, no matter what world you're on, have this kind of squelching effect. It kind of, it kind of adds that eeriness of, you know, that this isn't real, that all of this is kind of like I guess a figment of Sora's imagination. They're playing with his. They're playing with his mind before we get to the boss. Because normally, normally you'd walk around here. There'd be floorboard noises and 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 whatnot. I I don't know how to get out of this place. How do I get out of this one? None of the doors open. I don't bloody know. None of the doors open. Ah, uh, what did they do? What did they do, chat? I also can't fly either, so I can't like. How am I supposed to get out of here? I'm so confused. There's no point, this one's going to be shut. When in doubt, just press the target button and you'll see if uh, something is highlighted. But there's nothing to target in here. Yeah, they blocked off the other hole, so I can't go into the other hole. So, got to be here somewhere. Do they want me to go into the cabin or something? Yeah, no, this... This one's not shut. It's just... The only doors I can go through are the ones that are like automatically open like this. And the ones that are shut just don't open. Because it's... it's... I don't know. And I tried going back to where I started thinking that maybe I could just walk through the door and just escape here, but I can't. This bit's not clear to me. I actually have no flipping glue. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. I'm probably just missing something because I haven't gone to the cabin hold area. We haven't been to that section yet. You're tripping me out, game. You're tripping me out. It wasn't down there. Lose me marbles here. Wouldn't be surprised if Sora, like, you know, goes insane himself. Yeah, I can't. something sticking out or whatever. I don't see any targeting. Can you get into that other room via the window? I'm pretty sure it's the same room, but... Because when I jump, it just takes me back out here. So it's it's the same room, but because this room was a dead end in the in the in the story as well. It was just a secret. It was just a secret little cargo room that had like treasure chests in it. So I, I don't think it'll go anywhere. It's just got to be somewhere here, I reckon. But I don't know. does absolutely nothing. See, this room was a this room was a save point in the game, but then they literally would just teleport you to uh, the Big Ben clock tower and that would just be the end of the level, so I have no idea. idea too like I <laughs> the thing is take is that I have played and I just don't really remember this this is that moment where I'd be like scarf are you here can you backseat I, I don't know what I'm doing I really don't remember this bit feel defeated a little bit and I can't even like there is a soft reset in this game so you can reset to your save point but obviously we don't want to do that because we've just done all this fighting so I would really lose all my efforts 
Does this column actually- I don't think the column goes anywhere. We'll hop on, but I don't- He won't climb up. Yeah, see? The, the columns don't actually do anything here. I don't know why they included them on this level. It makes sense in some of the other levels, but here it was like kind of pointless to add the mechanic. All it did was cause just some awkward fights. Wait, is this a- I hide it- I didn't see this door! Oh my god, that was lame. Anyway, we got out. Now this one's green. I have a feeling it's gonna be maybe our last one, and then... Oh, we're here in Hundred Acre Wood, and there's a save point, and a treasure chest. Alright. Mega Elixir. Ooh, this is... Well, after that little uh, little delay, we've made it to World Terminus. This is not World Terminus. This is just Winnie the Pooh world, but... At the... <laughs> they, they, they're playing with the thoughts, chat. They're playing with the thoughts. Yeah, the hidden door behind my back. I didn't see it there. I don't even remember that door being there. I think that door was blocked previously. Very confused. Alright, so do I just, yeah, head out? And I suppose, head on over. At least now we have a reset point, so. Uh, jump into the scary fire. Oh, here we go. This is a new area. Very new to me. Seems to run getting a good angle to see a few things in the game. Yeah! And um, this is one of those games that doesn't use the right analog stick for camera movement. I actually have to use L2 and R2 to move the camera. They changed this in Kingdom Hearts 2. You actually use the analog stick, but for this first game, you've got you to gotta move the camera by the back buttons. So, I, I got the hang of it, but sometimes you'll just literally not have the camera turned the right way and miss something. Basically like a- basically like a lot of video games, they usually just, you know, improve on whatever they learn with the sequel. Alright. Oh. There's a door. And there's a big machine. Painful adjustment and uh, not not necessarily tech. I'm used to playing uh I'm used to playing a lot of like games on the PSP. So I'm kind of used to playing uh and you know the PSP doesn't have a right analog stick, so I'm kind of used to moving around like this. It just took a little bit of adjustment because I hadn't played the game in seven years, but other than that, um Guess uh push the shiny big red button. One's born of the heart and darkness, devoid of heart. Ravage all worlds and bring desolation. Seize all hearts and consummate the great heart. All hearts to be one. One heart to encompass all. Realize the destiny, the realm of kingdom hearts. The great darkness sealed within the great heart. Roll credits. <laughs> Progeny of darkness, come back to the eternal darkness. For the heart of light shall unseal the path. Seven hearts, one keyhole, one key to the door, the door of darkness, tied by two keys. The door of darkness to seal the light, none shall pass, but shadows returning to the darkness. One's born of the heart and darkness, hunger for every heart until the door opens. Now that all maybe sounded super trippy, but it kind of just outlined the plot of the game, basically. It's, it's the writing, man. Now that I'm kind of older, being able to appreciate the writing, it's it's quite something. Ow! Do not do this to me. Are these like portals or something? No. A plot, a riddle, poetry. Uh, all of the above. 
all of the above. I think once they started making more sequels, the game started to just... The, 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 the story got a lot deeper and also way more complicated, but I definitely admire the first game for having this, uh, you know, just this rich story that honestly could have been good even on its own. Yeah, okay, so... There's all these dark uh, portals everywhere. I don't know what to do. Um... We probably just have to backtrack, I imagine. Cause... What about this thing? Where the big heart symbol is? Nope, that area is blocked. This is where we came, so I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's one of those things that you just look at and kind of press on. Alright, um... Well, this big, big shiny hole wasn't here before. Are we ready for this chat? No? I'm gonna say what I said when I played Van Helsing. There is a very big scary hole. I really am scared, but let's jump. <laughs> oh my god, here we go! so fitting. It's, a uh, it's Chernobog. Yeah, I forgot all about this fight. Um, so I guess for anyone who maybe doesn't know their, their Disney, uh, information very well, Chernobog, um, was in Fantasia. It was, a uh, it was like a short where he was this, you know, powerful being that caused destruction and stuff, so it seems very fitting to actually have him in this game. And, and we're hearing the uh, we're hearing the composition from Fantasia while we fight him. That, that's really cool. I'm not even mad if I die right now. This is this is kind of neat. This is probably what we need to fire Aga for, so we can spam it. Might have to use a summon. Oh, we can't. Maybe I'm just not close enough to use it. No, I can't use the summon. Bet you don't remember this 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 part of Fantasia, where a spiky boy, a dog, and a duck fight uh, the literal Chernobog. Ooh, that's a hot fire. I'm going to die. Oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> that's okay. That's... that's fine. Alright. I mean, is there any real preparation I could do for that? Probably not. Yeah, we'll just continue. We'll see how we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was rough. That's alright. Now, now, that now that I've gotten my, uh gotten my fan geekiness out, we can actually just focus on the battle now. But yeah, fighting Chernobog. I'm both surprised and not surprised, so it's very fitting. The cutscene's not too long either, so this should, shouldn't be an issue. can't summon at all. Okay, so you're just not allowed to for this boss. Wind. Well, I'll cast Wind, so we can have the extra defense, because he'll do that attack. Uh, 
Yeah, Thunder doesn't do much. Would stop magic do anything? Probably not. Yeah, okay. Oh. Oh, I can. I can stop him. Yeah. I still have potions in my inventory too, I just don't want to use them. I know that we're going to need them. He is- Chernobog's not going to be the last boss. I'm sure we're very close, but he's not the last boss. We're probably going to have to find Ansem and- Oh no 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 no! Oh no no no! Oh, what attack is that? That just pushed me really far away. Oh, I don't like what that. Where we're going with that? What does that do? What does that do? Yeah, very close call. I thought I was gonna die again the same way. Well, we've done more damage this time around. All right, Donald and Goofy revived. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that second chance ability is really helpful. Even if you like, even if he like one hit KOs me, now I'm gonna survive with one HP. So might make for some more clutch play. <laughs> I I remember. Go go go, K9, go. Whoa, yeah, that actually pushes you away. Hang on, will will gravity do any good? I wonder. Eh, I didn't really see it do do much. Thank you, Donald. What a good duck. Oh, they broke down for the count, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, he blew me away. Fire! Fire! Okay, that's not gonna... Too far away. Oh, he did it again. See, while, while, whilst Ursula's boss fight, she was trying to, you know, use her super breath to suck me in to, to, to kill me, he's trying to blow me away. Different strokes for different folks, I suppose. Different fighting styles. Oh, Donald, that was clutch, thank you! Oh. I did hit it, thankfully. Wait. We're chipping him away. Oh, thank. 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 Yeet. Whoosh. Ow. Big owie. Okay. His attack patterns change. These fireballs look a bit different. Oh, he does not want me getting close. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. no. Not as many deaths as I thought I was gonna have tonight, but damn, that was that was annoying. I know I was so close. I got through most of his health bars. I'll try trap. Nothing that a uh, a a breath of 
deep, you know, a deep breath, and a handful of uh, M&M's car fix. Well, off-brand M&M's, but it doesn't matter. I'm definitely going to cast Arrow again. I feel like the only real preparation I could have done for these battles is maybe change my uh change my shortcut commands with my spells, but I guess I haven't bothered this part of uh, this late in the game because chances are every boss is gonna need different spells anyway, and I'm not going to know what's good to use and what isn't. So, oh well. They're definitely the kind of things I'd only learn if I beat this game more times. They did a really good job with his model, he really looks the part. Alright, I'm gonna get away, he's gonna do that. I think. He just like KO'd them. See, they'll revive, I won't. Donald, 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 bless, bless your ducking soul. Staggered those hits to not kill me. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna do. Oh, he's gonna throw fireballs. I should watch out. See, I can't block when I'm in flight mode, which is kind of annoying. So I basically have to dish it, take whatever I can dish. Whoa! say he blew away the competition. <laughs> yeah, that was a big boo, canine. <laughs> oh, ow, 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 I really, ow. Thank you. Oh, Donald. Thank you for saving me. Ah, 
Like, you cannot dodge these. It's lame. Clap, clap, clap. You know what's annoying? I actually did add a clap emote, but... I don't know. Better TTV is not responding. It's not adding it in. It, it might take a while before it shows up on the uh, thing. But clap, clap, clap indeed. Uh, I'm staying away from the fire, and then as soon as he's done, I'm gonna jump in and... He blew me away again. I was really hoping I could just... So anyway, I started blasting. Oh, whoa, I checked a couple hits there, even though the... I was here with you! Come on! Oh. Well, I really pulled some hair out then. <laughs> just thinking, is there anything else I could do in preparation? Probably just give myself arrow at the menu. We might do that. Alright, I'm going to do that. Yeah, so uh, I think I have to go through that last room again. Well, I shouldn't have to, but... Let's change Sora's spells. Um, I will keep Fire Aga. I might just switch to... Aurora? I don't know what this last spell down here is supposed to be. Whatever it is, I don't have it yet. Seems like solid pain as you get to the last half bar of health. Yeah, like, he, he starts to he starts to send more of those projectiles and he also sends the fireballs. And if this were a normal, like, a normal battle on ground, I would just deflect them with square because I have a block attack. Um, but the block attack uh, doesn't exist when you're in flight, so I can't block. So all I can really do is just fly up and down and hope to dodge it and it doesn't really work. It's... Not really, um, a reliable technique, I should say. So now, yeah, I should have arrow. Okay. Nonetheless, it's been great having you all here, so... At least we can, we can, we can kick Cherna Bog's Cherna butt together. Alright, now let's jump into the... Uh, wait, wait, why is it still green? No, no. There's supposed to be a big scary hole that I jump into. It's still green. Oh, maybe I have to jump down this way. Oh, so I have to- I have to redo this bit again, then. Yeah, I, I didn't think I'd have to do that. I'm gonna have to fight these enemies again. Alright, no- noted. Duly noted. But we shouldn't have to go back to the safe point, hopefully. So, I- I didn't mean to jump back into the- so basically what I have to do is I have to beat those enemies and then I have to interact with the machine and then once I interact with the machine then I can jump back through the portal and the the area to the boss will be open. But unfortunately when I was whacking the enemy I just went back through the portal before I was done. Too worried. Must be know what to do. All right, examine machine. I read all this bit, and now I can't exit. I have to fight these guys. All right, that's fine. But give us a little bit of a, a mental break so we can prepare for turn along.
Yeah, that's another thing. Some of those abilities like Ragnarok, Strike Raid, Ars Arcanum, you can only do those attacks on the ground. So I wasn't able to do them against uh, Chernobog, so... Yeah, okay, so we're done here, and now I can actually just jump back in, and the big scary hole will be open. And down we go. What emote is that? Hype shield? <laughs> it's like a like a duck or something? A goose? Very limiting fight, yeah. I think I think equipping arrow just means that I'm gonna remember to use it more to defend myself, since it's basically a air shield that will kind of reduce the strength of the attacks. So it should be good for just overall defense. Because I, I, I gave myself some at the start, but then I wasn't giving myself any for the rest of the fight because it, 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 I have to navigate the menu, and it was too much navigation, and during that time you're going through the menu, you're going to die, so having the shortcut change means I don't have to do that anymore. Oh, no, get away from that. Alright, yeah. I just realized Chernobyl has four health bars, so the fact that I got through three of them is, is pretty good. I think we'll have much better luck with the arrow now. Alright, I better leave. I think he's gonna do his little fire move. Yep. Alright. Alright, I think that worked, yeah. Buggers! I think we might actually... This is actually a better strat. Benefit of dying, I guess. Exactly! I think I think that's that's one of the things you do learn from these sorts of these sorts of games is from, from the dying, you know, you develop a muscle memory and I guess you can get out of the box. We're gonna get him now, we're gonna get him, Joe. I've mostly meleeed him, aside from- oh, I'm gonna have to heal now. Thank you, Donald. I literally have to heal once now. That's- that's pretty good, you know, what all things considered. Let's try and finish him off now. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah! Slow-mo, epic slow-mo. I love this game having an epic slow-mo when you defeat someone. Chernabog is Chernaboned. That sounded better in my head. Learn the ability Super Glide. I think Super Glide literally means that I can fly anytime now. Yeah, GG's. Big GG's, yeah. So Super Glide means I can fly anytime. I think, uh,. Ride air currents, yeah. Press to fly at high speed, hold down square to remain aloft, yeah. So basically you could- you, you were only able to fly on Peter Pan's world, but now I have the access to fly anytime. Now where do I actually go from here? <laughs> cool, I can fly, but everything looks like an abyss. Oh, keep heading down. This looks promising. <laughs> Equip this so we can use it. Oh! Now, where are we? Alright, we went through. Whoops. Where are we now? I really don't remember this. Anything to target? No? Oh, I fell really far. Good thing there's no fall damage in this game. I, I should just mention that. 
no fall damage. Sora's big goofy shoes actually uh, cushioned his fall. Not to mention I can fly now, so I suppose that helps. Oh, this is different. Oh, the, the the cave drawings are very uh very crazy. It's showing a lot of destruction and stuff. Was that like a? Did I look at something? I thought I saw that I could interact or whatever. Maybe not. It's really eerie. I feel like I I feel like I could sit around and try and like analyze it, but I really don't actually understand any of this particular symbolism, if it's referencing anything, I'm not sure, but... Imagine getting offed by fall damage after smashing that fight, I know, right? It would it would make absolutely no sense to the rest of the game that we just, uh, went through. Because if I show chat, um... Yeah, 30... I've managed to do all this in 32 hours. For me, that's a record, because normally I, I sink... Normally, whenever I've played this game, I've put way more than that in, so... This is probably the quickest I've ever played this game. So, I'm definitely never speedrunning this. <laughs> I don't know, I, I guess the... They just look like trippy cave drawings, you know? They're probably meant to trip me out, like, freak me out a little. So a speedrun then, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, I don't even... Oh, it's another one of these guys. I don't even want to think about speedrun in this game. People do do it. People also do things like level 1 runs and crit runs and stuff, but I've not wanted to mention those things because I will never do them. Kudos to anybody who can do them, but I, I certainly cannot. Can I somehow skip him, maybe? No. I feel like this is where we're going to go next, but... They're probably not going to open it up to us yet. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll just bring in a summon just to get through this bit quicker. Alright, summon the genie. I could not summon anybody during Chernobog's fight, by the way. The summons were locked, so... <laughs> just to confirm. summons once a battle, but it's helpful. Just kind of get deal with him a little quicker. How many of these have I had to fight now? This is like the third or fourth one I've had to fight now. Fourth, I think. <laughs> I really didn't expect to fight these again. Him. This is annoying. Do I just use another summon just to get this over with? Um, sure, let's use Simba. hitting him but yeah it's doing like really marginal damage it's less it's less hitting I have to do okay 
McDonald. Oh, Amani's back. Amani's back. This is great. Yes. Oh, perfect. Alright, now... Ooh. The heart broke. Okay. Such a great ability when it actually hits. Walking now. Pretty irritating.
done. Is this open? Ah, oh, it's almost done. There's one fragment. I guess you keep fighting until it opens up. That's what it is. Right. this chat. <laughs> Feels like a very drawn out fight, yeah. Well, basically this heart symbol is slowly breaking, so I'm assuming I just have to keep fighting until it's fully open. But yeah, it's, it feels very drawn out. They've already put me through so many trials, and then to have this bit as well. Not, did not expect it. It's probably why I don't remember this part of the game, it's just, it's, they really make you work for it, it's pretty long. Can I not? What is... What am I missing here? Is there something I'm missing? I'm seriously just... it go? XP is always a generous reward. Exactly. Oh my. Oh my god. How much more of this is there? I, I really just... I, I, I don't know if I'm mentally ready. I, I thought I, I thought I'd be... save room. I thought I'd be mentally ready. I thought we would have gotten to the boss already. Wow. Oh, there's, a, there's the door. Oh, man. Gosh, I, I actually don't know if we're going to get all through this today, chat. There is so much going on. Final rest. I do not like the sound of that. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. 
do we venture? Do we venture through chat? Do we do we continue and dip our feet like Final rest this is probably our last save point, but I don't think this is the end of the game. I think really they're teasing us. Best have you last dinner as well before in this moment. Yeah, oh my gosh. I, good point. I haven't even had a I haven't even had a break since doing this. Huh? What's wrong? Don't you hear something? There. Careful. This is the last haven you'll find here. Oh boy. Beyond, there is no light to protect you. But don't be afraid. Your heart is the mightiest weapon of all. Remember. You are the one who will open the door to the light. Oh, I'm getting shivers from the start of the game. I don't hear anything. Strange. That voice was so familiar. Maybe it's just my imagination. Maybe you'd better take a rest. <laughs> oh, man. The game's literally warning me to not go in there. Because it's likely impending doom. <laughs> I wonder, can you like board the gummy ship for me? You can! Oh, we could go do some, like, I could go do some, like, shopping or whatever, uh, some synthesizing. I collected a lot of cool items. I honestly want to fly back and see if, uh, if there's anything we can get for the, for the boss. So charge right in then. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, seriously though, um, we can warp from here. It says we can board the gummy ship, so in theory we can just warp back and forth. I won't have to do anything else. That's actually... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Yeah, look at how many star difficulty that is. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we want to go back here because that's where the shop is. I can go meet the Moogles. I think I'll be able to synthesize some really cool stuff. Because now that I've visited this place once before, I, I can just fast travel. So... Last boss? No, I'll take a vacation instead, thanks. Yeah. I, I don't think this is the final, final boss, though, because knowing Kingdom Hearts, usually the final bosses have, like, two or three stages. Possibly even more. So, this I may not even get the, get the chance to complete the game today. Chances are they're really, they're really tricking me here. This isn't a boss fight. This has been an entire level and a half. Uh, here to shop... I don't know if he's going to have anything that I already don't own. Yeah, I already have, have a lot of this stuff of stuff. Element ring? Oh yeah, element ring. I do have one of these. Okay, so we'll go upstairs to the Moogles. We'll visit the Moogles and we'll go and um, craft some stuff. I've collected a lot of rare gems at this, you know, where we've just been. So maybe we can make stuff that I wasn't able to make before. Let's synthesize, Koopa. Oh yeah, I've got all these extra shards now. Um, let's see. AP up? We can make an AP up. Oh, I don't have enough spirit gems. Okay. Uh, magic armlet. Don't have any frost shards. What else can we build? Is, is there anything I can build with what I have? I could build the cottage and immediately sell them. I'm not going to use them. Nah. I thought I... I've clicked it so much and there's still stuff I don't have. This is... This is a little underwhelming. No thunder gem. Okay. I don't have enough spirit gems. I don't have any bright gems. Don't have any frost shards. I've already built one of these. Because it says created 6 out of 12. I'm assuming if I get to the 12 mark, I'll, I'll actually unlock something rare that I can make. So I was kind of hoping we could just go straight to building whatever it is. Not enough ingredients, Koopa. Oh, that's a bummer. I was really hoping to... Really hoping to go about that. Boo, what a tease. 
Because literally, literally the Moogles here like, we're going to build the ultimate weapon if you bring us all the items you can. I tried, I really tried, I really thought. Ah, oh, bummer. Maybe we are just going to charge in. <laughs> there is another um, item shop here, but I, I think I already have the best weapons money can buy, so... I guess all I can really do is just sell the excess I have. Wisdom Staff? Okay, Wisdom Staff is actually fairly good for physical attacks, although I did find a staff that's probably better. Grand Mallet. Tremendously powerful. Smasher, Gigasus, Mithril Shield, Onyx Shield. Doubt, Golem, Adamant. Pursued Defense, also powerful Assault Weapon. I'm assuming that the, the weapons I found in, um, are probably better. But just out of curiosity, yeah, I've got I've got six k money, so we've got stuff we can sell. Don't have many, to, don't have that many to sell. Okay. Yeah, it's not gonna really be much point. Oh, that's kind of a bummer chat. I was hoping I could build something really cool. I kept collecting some really rare items like Gale and stuff. They're, they're really, um, they're really rare items that you need for some very special, uh, weapons you can get, but I, I can't get them yet. So, we bit bummed out by that. Sounds like we need to restart for a max item run. <laughs> yeah. I could probably get some of the missing items by backtracking. Yeah. And revisiting some of the worlds that will have certain items with higher drop rates and stuff like that. It, but it's like, eh. It's too time consuming. Alright, I guess we're just gonna fly our way back over. Dun -dun -dun -dun. All right, we want to go to final rest. <laughs> given them the be best I can. Alright, I'm gonna give Donald and Goofy some items. At least I have stuff to spare. I won't give them too much, but who knows, it might save my life, you know? How about Sora? Sora can have... What do the elixirs do again? Fully restore characters HP and MP. Okay, so that's a good foolproof one. Mega Potion heals everyone. Ether heals MP one character. Yeah, then I'm probably fine with these then. Go to save. 
I guess we're gonna dip our toes in, see what see what comes up, but if it's too difficult then I might just uh I might just call it a day, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll give it a shot. Open the door. Now we're at Destiny Island. It's been so long since we were last here. This was the shack that you could go to. I have a feeling I know where the battle's gonna be, but I just wanna have a look around. Because there used to be coconut trees here, they're gone. These coconut trees have been absolutely destroyed, and that one over there is the tree of the palpu fruit. And it's just so, it's just limp and sad. Oh, that hurts the feels so much, actually. Like they're really trying to sell the point that oh yeah, you know, your world is kind of in ruin. Everything uh, that means a lot to you is kind of in peril. That's that's deep. That's awful. That's deep. Uh, was it? It was here. This is where we're going. This world has been connected. What was that? Tied to the darkness. Soon to be completely Soon eclipsed. Soon to be completely eclipsed. He said this earlier in the game. There is so very much to learn. You understand you so little. Understand so little. Ooh, gives me chill. Who knows nothing. 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 One who knows nothing can understand nothing. Oh dear. Oh. It's Riku, but not Riku? because uh, Anson possessed him. He's just chilling down there. I suppose I can just glide down and be like, sup, bro? <laughs> Take a look at this tiny place. To the heart-seeking freedom, this island is a prison, surrounded by water. And so this boy sought out to escape from his prison. He sought a way to cross over into other worlds, and he opened his heart to darkness. Riku! Don't bother. Your voice can no longer reach him where he is. His heart belongs again to darkness. All worlds begin in and all so end. The heart is no different. Darkness sprouts within it. It grows, consumes it. Such is its nature. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. You see, darkness is the heart's true essence. That's not true. The heart may be weak, and sometimes it may even give in, but I've learned that deep down there's a light that never goes out. Oh, I'm getting the feels. I'm starting to remember some of these quotes again. <laughs> so you have come this far, and still you understand nothing. Every light must fade. Every heart return to darkness. Okay. Well, we found Ansem, so we're, we're gonna fight him now. I think defense is a good idea, right? <laughs> Guardian. 
Oi. Come back here. Come here where I can see you and hit you. Oof. Oh my gosh, chat. We've gotten to this point. Oh, submit? He said submit. That's a, uh... No, how about I- how about I don't? No, he grabbed me! Ah! I didn't know he could do that. Don't give up! Oh gosh, he just threw a bunch of those. When Riku before would kill me with just one of those. That's... Some scary stuff. Sorry, I was doing real well with the, with the defense kind of route. I do not want to submit. I will submit by a second. Not to the darkness. figure out the, the pattern that he does, but... He just seems to do whatever he wants. Yeah! Take that, Anson. Me knowing better, though, I'm pretty sure it's not over. <laughs> GG! But for how long? <laughs> Oh, Sora's Island is a shambles right now. It really needs some interior decoration. Oh my god, poor Donald, poor Goofy. Everything's ruined, oh my. We enjoy the small victories as much as the large. Yes, I, I love that mentality very much, Tech. Thank you, I agree. We gotta enjoy the small victories as well as the large. I guess before I jump in there, um, I, I feel bad. I, I gotta heal them, right? Goofy will, will give me MP, right? I'm assuming. I just, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get any save points, so... No! I... Oh, come on. Seriously? I just wasted... I... I think I thought I was being generous. And now they're just like, not when I'm gonna let you... Uh... Have them... Bite. Ugh. Boo. 
Yeah, that's a big oof right there. Eps in the chat. Okay, now we're fighting, fighting Darkseid. We, we fought him at the beginning of the game. So, he's made his comeback. Well, of course he has. From memory, you just kind of bash his hands. And you just got to avoid the big energy balls, but... He's not particularly difficult, you just got to be careful. I'm assuming this one might possibly have unique attacks, but... I don't know. same boss as the start of the game. If I want to get some extra HP or hit points, I could probably, like some mana, I could probably bash these little shadows on the floor, just to get some extra. I wouldn't focus on them just because they'll keep spawning, but they'll give me extra stuff, so... I learned jackpot. Okay. Swish. Nope, he's back. Oh my gosh. I guess that fire helped me get some MP back, but... Oh, I've had no time to figure out what he does. Can't attack him in this mode. Submit. I will not. Okay. I don't know why. Oh. No, 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 okay, no, no, This move. He just blocks. Submit. Submit. But no. Oh hey Phoenix! Oh my gosh. Welcome in. Uh I'm hopefully beating the game. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm versing the big bad villain of this whole entire game. Except I don't <sighs> In, in, in true Kingdom Hearts fashion, it's, you don't just fight him once. You fight him twice, thrice, possibly more. I don't know. How far back am I going to have to go? I don't know. Because they gave me a save point and they literally were like, This is it. No more save points. You are stuck. Oh, okay. So they put me, um, they put me after the Anson fight. The first, the first fight, I should say. So, at least I'm going to start with some full health, but... It's still not a huge amount. But anyway, welcome in. Uh, sorry, <laughs> just a little stressed because I really don't remember the e the ending of the game, so I don't remember how to fight the bosses. <laughs> it's, it's completely fresh to me, I've forgotten. Full health and mana. Yes, exactly. I thankfully haven't had to use any of my personal potions yet, but considering Donald and Goofy aren't uh, here to help me for this for, at least for these particular fights. It's good to have them, but I haven't wasted them yet. 
I think I think this bit then we'll really put here just so that you can uh, kind of stack some mana. Because this boss, this 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 dark side boss isn't difficult. It's just the same as the one when you first start the game. You just gotta bash his hand and avoid the uh, energy balls. That's basically it. Got him, so just for the sake of having full health for Ansem. Um, yep. Give me a give, give me a hand, please. <laughs> chimed in Phoenix. Now you know where we are. I thought I was gonna beat this yesterday but five hours later I was still playing because this game is... I always forget how long this game is. It fakes you out at it every turn. <laughs> it's both brilliant and crazy at the same time. Like I guess you don't want a game that's predictable necessarily but at the same time no! Oh, I did tech that one. Ah! Oh please, not no Sag now. I, I need, I need... Need to stay, need to stay positive and not, hopefully not die. Oh, stop flying around! Why are you spamming this move? This is so lame, why is he spamming that move? <laughs> He's doing a completely different attack pattern this time. But actually, really rude. How dare he? Okay, while he blocks, I'm gonna heal. I will not. Yeah, take, get wrecked, Sunny Jim. Submit. Okay, I really got it. Yeah. When, when that comes up, you gotta keep moving because these little, these little shadow goon thing sometimes will grab you. They get really hard for you to really figure out his next move. Stop doing that! Stop doing that! where this is going. I don't like this. Oh, okay. Yep, it's it's, it's this attack. Just, just roll a lot. I'm assuming the explosion is going to one-hit KO me. I will not. No. No, you don't. No. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> That's frustrating, really, wow. Oh no. Yeah, it's this attack. They were they were right to they were right to tease me and give me all those free items earlier on. I was hoping to 
whack another Ragnarok on him. Maybe they'll cancel his attack. No, they will not. They will not. K9, 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 K9. Breathe, K9. Breathe, K9. Oh my god, someone clicked this. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, he's gonna he's he's gonna big bad boy again. Just 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 frantically dodge. Frantically dodge. Do not deny. Just roll, roll, roll. They see me rolling and Anthem Hayden. Look, I will open my heart for Sonic the Hedgehog. I will not open my heart for you. That is a reference that maybe one in a hundred of you will understand. <laughs> ah! No, why did I Ragnarok? Why did I Ragnarok? How did I survive that? Oh my gosh. How did I survive that, chat? Man. No. I have no I have no mana. Come on, just fashion some more, fashion some more. Yes. Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Behold the endless abyss. Within it lies the heart of all worlds. Kingdom hearts. Roll credits. Look as hard as you are able. You'll not find even the smallest glimmer of light. From those dark depths are all hearts born. Even yours. <gasps> Darkness conquers all worlds! Oh no. I remember this. This is, um... Yeah. This is the most arcade machine <gasps> shmup boss looking thing I've ever seen. Giving up already? Come on, Sora. I thought you were stronger than that. Need a moment to breathe. Wow, that was a lot to process. Um, yeah, he turns into this big, like it's still him, but then there's also this big ship thing that's connected them. It, it's it's so, yeah, it's really a sight to behold, especially on your your first time playing this. Couldn't post the dodging clip. Ah, oh, that's okay, Tech. Ah, oh, I think I've managed to save a fair few clips tonight. Uh, so, wow. Okay, I need a drink. <laughs> I remember the look of this boss, I don't remember how to actually fight it. But you just don't forget a boss that looks like that. It just reminds me of something... It's the kind of boss you would picture seeing in like a shmup game or a game like... Uh... Metal Slug or something. It's it's pretty insane. This weird muscular fleshy nervy thing. It, 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 it's... I'm so nervous to fight to fight him. This is... This is... You know that you know that phrase. This isn't even my final form. It probably got invented by Kingdom Hearts. I'm just I'm just saying. <laughs> Phoenix, yeah. There's not a star in heaven that Sora can't reach. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. I just noticed Donald and Goofy aren't here, even though they were with me in the cutscene. They can't join? Rip. Oh my gosh. I just noticed his blade is a is a two-bladed soul leader. That that's cool. I'll, I'll I'll explain what that means later. Welcome the darkness into you. Oh, these are new heartless. They're not used anywhere else in the game. Turn to darkness. This is oh, it ran away, cowards. Yeah. I mean, the Sora kind of fell to, fell to his doom, and then you know Riku was like, hey, you're not giving up, and then Sora flew up to fight him. So it's not super clear what happened to Donald and Goofy, to be honest. We are to fight fine, and some cast magic to block them, but they didn't really make that clear here. What am I supposed to do here? Maybe I... Maybe I need to land on his fleshy, royal fleshiness? Look at this. Look at this! Look at this monstrosity. This is not a... I mean, this is a boss and a half. Look at him. I don't know what to do. So even just try and get a just a gauge an idea on what's going on here. I'm just getting lasered to death. Alright, maybe this will help me fight him a bit better. Stop it! Stop it, Anson. If that's They got sucked into a thing, did it, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I, uh, it, it's so hard to tell. It's not the only mouth is Look at all these mouths! All these wyverns and stuff that merged into them. It, it's it's freaky. Look, that one time I asked my friend if he would pick up Kingdom Hearts and he said, no, nah, it's not my type of game. Even though he likes Final Fantasy. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. What the heck am I doing? Maybe there's some sort of power source in the flesh that needs to be damaged. Yeah, yeah, I feel like it, but I'm trying to switch targets. Because there is a button you can click to switch targets, and that's not doing anything. So I think at this I think at least at this stage I'm just meant to hit him. Maybe maybe it'll change though. Maybe there's gonna be another phase to this battle. Oh no. Haha, oh, oh, there's some clutch moments here. Oh boy. I'm glad I equipped all those abilities that allow me to absorb more MP because it means I can cons at least consistently do this. I oh, oh, oh. get away, get away, get away, get away. Welcome the darkness. Alright. We almost got him. We almost got him. I mean, you missed out before, Phoenix. We fought Chernobog from Fantasia. That was neat. Alright. We took care of this phase. Yeah. I didn't get really much XP for it, though, so it's probably not his final form, let's face it. What's he gonna do now? He's gonna get uglier, isn't he? <laughs> yep, we're gonna beat him up from the inside now. Okay. Well, at least we'll be able to regen with some of these uh, little, little heartless. Almost filled up my mana. So, what is that? 
Oh, yep, we're beating them up from the inside. Nice. Whatever this is, it seems important. We must break it. Cool. Man, this kid's had to go through a lot lately. <laughs> I do not like where this is going. Defense. Yep, let's get that defense boost. What am I targeting? Am I targeting these tendrils? Yeah, I'm targeting the tendrils. Yeah, we're basically bashing him to pieces, right? Alright, I am doing some, uh... I'm doing some wart removal chat. To be honest, I had to do something similar with Oogie Boogie, so I guess they kind of trained you a little bit for this moment. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now what? Do I start targeting him again? Portal of Darkness? Oh wait, what? Are we going to the portal then? We're going into the portal! Ah! No, 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 we are going into the portal. We, we need stuff to pimple pop, but yeah, apparently. Alright, we've just entered the portal of darkness. Oh, I hear, I hear Goofy. Hey, we found Goofy. I'm targeting, I think, a Heartless that's teleporting. I can't see where he is. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, bless this auto-targeting. It, it's so handy right now. Okay, these enemies aren't too difficult. It's just not being able to see them means I can't see them which way they're going to charge. Because they do bite. As I was saying, the Simpsons, I call the big one baby. Alright, looks like we're gonna hit another um gross thingy. Yep. Nice. Progression. scary. Guess we're gonna fight the big scary mouth now? Yes. Yes we do. Okay. Somehow I remember this bit. It's weird how I just remember kind of segments of things. kind of electricity you're sending out. Not much I can do about it other than just... Apparently Bitey is one of Macaroni's all-time favorite Simpsons jokes. <laughs> I don't blame him, it's so simple, but the way it's delivered as well is just funny. Okay, get back, get back. I do not have Donald here to heal me. To those of you in my Discord, I will have to show you a photo of what uh, what boss th what boss this reminds me of. At least the mouth part. Grr. Oh, another portal. 
We're gonna go save Donald now? Yeah, looks like it. Donald and he's with the he's with these enemies. I'm really annoyed by these enemies. Chowder really knows I'm not a fan of them today. I've had to fight so many of them. They just move around a lot and they do this annoying yeah, this purpley attack that's annoying. Phoenix, uh, the kicking Marge thing and hit and run, yeah. <laughs> he just sounds like such a laid back guy. He's like, oh yeah. You're worried I'll get offended? Nah. We literally are in darkness. Alright. Now we get to hit this other thing. All the way down to the quickie mart though, that's actually pretty far. <laughs> yeah. When you learn those kind of stories about games, it's it's great. Oh, we blew up Bitey. Ooh, that'll leave a mark. We literally are tearing Ansem limb from limb. This is actually... Wow. This is actually a pretty epic boss fight. Like, it's just so much you have to... Have to do. Oh, AP. It's always nice if Sora to level up. Yeah, let's hit this uh, gangly growth. This is a kid's game, yeah? <laughs> I don't even know. There were definitely plenty of plenty of kids that played this uh, when they were wee youngins. I think I was uh, 14 when I first played this game. Just because I I got the game kind of late, but still. It's funny how sometimes a quote-unquote something that appears as a kid ga kid's game isn't actually a kid's game, you know? Alright, he's come out of hiding, he's like, oh, you really hurt me, you, you broke some of my vital organs. At least we have Donald now. <laughs> Ow! Oh, he's pushing me away. Weird, like, gravity type stuff. Okay. Oh, that's awesome, Phoenix. It's mighty generous of you. <laughs> Would be interesting to. I'll, I'll have to. I'll have when I, when I'm when I'm actually focusing. I'll have to uh, bring up a bring up a topic to chat in regards to what other games I should definitely stream and play. Ooh. 
I need a focus. There's a lot of uh, a lot of harm happening. Those little laser things are kind of unfair. He's already difficult to have these floating laser balls, just like. Learn Vortex. Ooh, I don't. I don't remember what Vortex does. Bye bye, Ansem, or? I don't know. Oh my. It is futile. The Keyblade alone cannot seal the door to darkness. Kingdom Hearts, fill me with the power of darkness. Supreme Darkness. You're wrong. I know now, without a doubt, Kingdom Hearts is light. <laughs> Did we get it? <laughs> Come on! That light did look uh, pretty blinding and crushing for a for a, a man as dark as he is. to see Riku. Uh-oh.
Oh, Kyrie's here. Oh no. I oh no. Oh no. No, I just remembered no. doesn't get muted I mean uh 
depending on what you call it, either Simple and Clean or Hikari, composed by Utada Hikaru, so I'm just going to mention that, so people really, like, Twitch and whoever concerns, it's part of the game. Oh. Another thing to note is that there will probably be an after credit sequence, I believe, so that's another reason why I'm waiting this out. There you go. See? Credit to Utada. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you go the entire game. And ah. Oh. I know I've played the sequels, but this this ending still gets me, you know. <laughs> oh, here you go. Here's a bit of the epilogue thing. Dewey, Dewey, and Louie come back. There's the little the dancing brooms. <laughs> oh yeah, the Final Fantasy peeps. They're reunited with Cloud. Oh no, that's so great. Although Cloud's still going to be upset because he's searching for Tifa, but it's a start. He's reunited. No, here's a real boy. Oh. Everybody's, everybody else is getting their happy ending, but not Sora. Gosh, I'm so bummed. The three of them are reunited. Ah. Well, that's that's Kingdom Hearts chat. <laughs> I I don't know if I'll play the sequels anytime soon because Kingdom Hearts Two is quite long. Um, if I do though, I guess I'd probably just maybe buy the PC version or something, or maybe I'll play the PS2. I don't know. I just I don't know if I'm ready to to play any any more Kingdom Hearts games for the time being. Played Spider Man PS4 like three or four times. Still cry at the end. Yeah. There's very few things that get me, like, emotional like this. Uh, thankfully I'm not crying, but I'm really, really, I'm really sad right now. <laughs> this game and uh, another Kingdom Hearts game both have really sad endings that make me almost cry. Final Fantasy Crisis Score also has a sad ending too. Um, I'm not gonna say why, <laughs> I'm gonna try not to spoil it for anyone, but... Uh, yeah. March Caprice Piano Orchestra. Yeah, they're mentioning all the um orchestral stuff. There's some great uh this is, Kingdom Hearts is a great OST, even if you're not like yeah, they're crediting Wandering Angel, that's uh Sephiroth's theme. Um I guess I can mention now, chat, there's the voice actors. Ansem was voiced by Billy Zane. Damn, dude. That that act that actually makes sense now. That actually makes sense why he's so deep. Damn. Thank you, thank you, all these voice actors. Even Tress McNeil makes an appearance. Uh... Wow, that's cool. I knew that there was a, a great... Oh, they used Dynacom font? Oh, that's actually interesting. Because, um... Namco, fun fact chat, for K9 fun fact, Namco also uses a Dynacom font. It's a it's a special patented font that you can't um you can't use without a without a uh, expensive license. So there's a fun fact for you. Namco always uses it in their stuff because I'm pretty sure they, you know, they bought it and they're gonna use it as much as they want. Apparently Phoenix, I knew a lot of people were in this. Um, there's definitely a lot of notable voice actors, but there's some even I didn't know about. Ooh, and more people show up in the sequels, of course. Ugh. Major feels, major feels. I, I just, I have to, you know, I have to thank everybody for being here, for being on this journey with me. 
Oh, it's so good to, to beat this game. It's been... I keep saying seven years, I'm pretty sure it's at least seven years, maybe up to ten, but it's been a long time since I've actually played through the first game and its completion, so thank you, everyone. Not to mention, thanks to uh, people who worked on the game. Argent Booth. Was that the was that the person's name? Ah, <laughs> oh. yeah, I'm. Oh man! All right, the the next game I have to play, chat has to be a little a little less sad, you know. <laughs> has to be something a bit more lighthearted. <laughs> All Square and Disney staff and fans. Yes, thank you. Executive producer Hironobu Sakaguchi. Yep, he's a he's a he's a Final Fantasy director. That's Kingdom Hearts one. I'll be honest, I don't remember how the post-game stuff works. There you go. Cutscene. We've got to find Riku and King Mickey. But, uh, where do we start looking for that there door to the light? <laughs> huh? Huh? Pluto? Hey, Pluto! Where have you been? Huh? Gosh, that's the king's seal. Hey, have you seen King Mickey? Oh, yep. <laughs> Guys, let's go. Such a charming lot. Remember, Sora, you are the one who will open the door to the light. The end. Oh. So, depending on the version of Kingdom Hearts you play, there's also an after after credit scene. If you play. Oh. Actually, it depends on the difficulty. If I played the hardest difficulty, we'd have an extra extra cutscene, but I just couldn't, couldn't, just wasn't really up for that difficulty. So, that's the end. I'm pretty sure it'll show me the stats of everything I'm done now. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, where does it take me? Final rest, yeah, it doesn't, uh, actually save. Okay. So literally I could go back and do post-game stuff if I want to. Yeah. I didn't know that. I kind of thought that it was going to loop back a bit better. At least the other games do that. I, I don't remember, but... Hey, that's Kingdom Hearts 1, everybody. I'm... We, we, we beat it. We beat it. It's amazing. I guess there's, uh, there's not much more to add. So... Just uh, once more, thank you everybody for watching on YouTube and Twitch, and I hope to catch you on a future stream or video. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time.